First, you're going to enter the ring and free stack your dog. Some judges want you to hand stack them. They'll give you time to use your hands to place their feet, but most of them just want you to free stack your dog. And then they'll ask you to go around the ring, sometimes one at a time, sometimes as a group. So make sure that you listen to the judge and that if they ask you to go one at a time, you wait your turn. Once you trot your dog all the way around the ring, you're going to stop near that pink table there and then hand stack your dog if you're the first one in line. The other ones in line can just relax until they're up to hand stack their dog. So place your dog's feet where you want them to be. This isn't the prettiest looking hand stack, but you're going to work on that to be sure your dog looks good. And then the judge will come over to go over your dog to check the structure. The judge will also check the teeth and either check it on their own or ask you to show the bite. Once you've done that, the judge will also ask you to do a down and back, usually on the diagonal, but sometimes in a straight line down the mat as well. Be sure you're paying attention and if you have questions, just ask the judge to specify once again which direction you're supposed to go. After you're down and back, you're going to free stack your dog at the end in front of the judge. The judge is going to try to get expression out of your dog to see their face and then ask you to go around again or stand in line on the mat. In this case, the judge has asked her to go around again, so you trot your dog once again to the end. Once you've gotten to the end, you're going to hand stack your dog and present it again while the judge makes their final selection.